Okay, you guys, today's video is going to be a blonding one. As you can see right here, my assistant Caitlin is taking a before photo. Before photos and videos are really great for two reasons. One, you can show the before and after and the progress, and two, it can also be used for liability reasons. I have had clients in the past be like, my hair doesn't look any different, or, you know, it wasn't what I wanted, and showing them the before and after can show them that you did achieve a good result. Oh, my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy, won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop, got your feet both locked. So I am starting out in the front here. I'm going to be doing a few slices around her face to give her brightness, and then I will start working up the interior of the hair doing baby lights. We are doing a full highlight on her today. As you can see, she has quite a bit of regrowth. She's about a level six naturally, and we're just looking to brighten her up today. You get to flop with me. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my Framer foils are my favorites to use for a few reasons, obviously the first being that they're really cute and second being that they're really sturdy and I feel like they're just easy to work with. After using other foils, everything else just feels too flexible to me. I've gotten so used to how thick these are and they really do make your job a lot easier. A lot of times while I am working, I will have my assistants help me out. So here Caitlin is doing the back while I do the front. About a year ago, I did a day in the life of my assistant video, but we are now in a new location. I have two assistants. Things are a little bit busier. So if you guys would like an updated video about assistants, let me know. With me. I can take you down for a ride. Take you around my life Jaywalk it, crosswalk it, lip lock it But you, I know it, you know it We make it Okay. 
So a lot of times when you are working with baby lights, you want to make sure that they are thin enough that it's going to give you the result that you're wanting, but also not too thin where it's going to look too subtle. You want to make sure that you don't leave huge subsections in between and that each piece is being fully saturated. <music> Now it's time to mix up the toner. We are using all Goldwell Colorants today. I am using 7N7NA on her base. This is one of my favorite root colors for blondes. It gives really good coverage and it blends really beautifully. And for her ends, I'm also using Goldwell Colorants and we are doing 10P, 10V, 10N. This is one of my favorite formulations for giving your blondes that bright icy white blonde without it going too violet or too cool. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy, watch you bend that back for me We won't stop, got your feet both locked You get to flop with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip locking with you now we are to my favorite part, which is root smudging and toning. I absolutely love this process because I feel like it kind of just ties everything together. And you can see right here that she lifted so beautifully. I'm using my Framar brush that has a little weave comb at the end of it. And I absolutely love this comb because you can part off as you're applying the color and it's really helpful. So as you can see here, I'm just going around the interior and then I will go through and do the rest. I'm doing more of a shadow technique on her. I think I've mentioned in my videos before that I have a few different techniques on this. I have three different things I like to do and on her I am doing a shadow because I want a little bit of depth but I don't want anything too dramatic because she is wanting to be brighter. When you're doing underneath here at the nape of the neck you have to be careful not to spread too much product because since the head curves it's easier to go deep down so you want to make sure you're working with really small sections so that you have accuracy. Something I like to do when working with money pieces is I take the sections of hair like this and I do it backwards like this. That way I'm working with the shape of the head and I'm pulling everything back. And then you'll see here in a little bit that this keeps the money pieces out and separate so that they can process without color on them. And then you can put the color on when you need to. And this is gonna help your money pieces really stand out. Yeah. 
keep the money pieces for last because I want them to be the brightest and as you can see here I'm just gently tapping I'm not going down as far as I did on the rest of the hair and this is going to make sure that they stand apart from the rest of it now we are taking that toner and we are toning everything together I love Goldwell color ons I can't tell you guys how much I love it if you haven't used it you need to Right, you guys look how beautiful this turned out there is nothing more satisfying than blow drying the hair and seeing that beautiful tone of blonde she lifted so perfectly and it looks even better curled i hope you guys liked this little tutorial let me know what type of videos you would like to see in the future and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much you guys have a great day oh my baby got me staring at you so i'm crazy watch your bend that back for me we won't stop got your feet both fly. You get to flap with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip-locking But you, I know it